Thank you, Kevin. State prison officials are taking a first-hand look at several local jails in southern Indiana. News 10's Mike Grant reports the Indiana Department of Corrections began with a stop at the Knox County Jail. The commissioner for the Indiana Department of Corrections and some of his top staff went behind the steel doors to get a close-up look at the Knox County Jail. Since it opened five years ago, the state has regularly sent prisoners with short sentences here and has paid the county hundreds of thousands of dollars. We do need the DOC money to continue programming, to continue a lot of our stuff that we have, but we're not relying on it. So we appreciate any opportunity we had to expand on this program. While the number of prisoners that the state houses at local jails like this has been dropping, officials say that they'll probably continue to utilize facilities like this. It's always more cost effective if you can keep offenders in the home community uh, if they're not going to be doing much time. That's especially true if the jail maintains programs like Life After Meth that it's done here. The commissioner presented the local director a $7,000 check from money raised by inmates with the state prison system. Donations like this helps us um, to update our curriculum and uh, create curriculum um, uh, from different sources. The tour gave state officials a chance to assess how this place operates. That, along with the programs designed to cut down the number of prisoners who return here, might be keys to keeping the partnership between the state and the local jail intact. In Vincennes, I'm Mike Grant, News 10. The Department of Corrections will also stop in Davies, Du Bois, and Gibson counties.